Xbox and Amazon are teaming up to do something very interesting. You see, this is an Xbox Series X. And thanks to the new partnership between Xbox and Amazon, well, we don't need this anymore. In fact, if you want to play Xbox games, all you need is this. In case you missed it, Xbox Cloud Gaming is now compatible with Fire TV devices, which essentially means that you can now stream and play games like Hellblade 2, Starfield, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Halo, Fortnite, or Indiana Jones and the Great Circle on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, or any other Fire device that Amazon's selling on Prime Day. No console necessary. And that, my friends, is pretty freaking awesome. Because it feels like the two companies together are kind of capitalizing on the original promise that was Google Stadia. And as someone who adopted very heavily into Stadia, I gotta say, for the first time in a very long time, the prospect of cloud gaming feels really cool again. Now, obviously, I wanted to test this out firsthand, so I went on Amazon.com and I picked up a 4K Fire TV Max streaming stick, plugged it into my TV, and look, it pretty much booted up itself. Now, the Xbox Cloud Gaming app does not come pre-installed on this device, so you will need to search the App Store, install the Xbox Cloud Gaming app, which will require you to sign into your Xbox Game Pass account, but from there, you will be able to stream your games. Which this is probably a perfect place in the video to, to mention this, but this partnership and this integration, it, it does require you to have an Xbox Game Pass subscription, specifically Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which gives you access to a library of hundreds of games, access to Xbox exclusives the day they launch, but more importantly, access to cloud gaming. And all of this will run you about $19.99 a month. Now, once you get the app installed, you boot it up, it brings you to syncing your controller. And I've got to say, I was super impressed by this. Like the Xbox Game Pass app has the option to wirelessly connect a gaming controller via Bluetooth, preventing you from going into the settings and linking your Bluetooth controller directly to the Fire Stick. That's all inside of the app. So there's no extra work here, which is super dope. Uh, I jumped into quite a few games. Like, especially with cloud gaming having a lot of flack, the one game I definitely wanted to uh, try was Halo Infinite. As a multiplayer experience, especially a first-person shooter, you almost need to have instant response times. And through Xbox Cloud Gaming, the multiplayer experience was super satisfactory. I mean, I definitely don't identify as like a Halo pro, but I was able to win a couple rounds along with getting multiple kills. So to me... I, I chalked that up as a W. And after using this, you know, I, I definitely kind of asked myself, I was like, is this a future that I could embrace? Like, could I play games exclusively this way? And, you know, yeah, I already own an Xbox Series X. And uh, I guess looking forward, if I didn't have to buy a console and I could just use a streaming stick, playing video games or getting into the next generation of Xbox would be so much easier easier. And I have to assume that there are a lot of casual gamers out there as well who are going to get back into gaming because of this. Like if you look at the launch of college football and how many casual gamers are coming back specifically for that game. I mean, imagine a game like college football being available on Xbox Cloud Gaming and returning players wouldn't have to buy Xbox Series Xs or PlayStation 5s. They could literally just use the Xbox app on their television or a Fire Stick. I mean, that's such an awesome future for gaming that I 100% can get behind. But overall, I, I did enjoy my time getting to play Xbox games on the Fire TV sticks. It has been a long time coming, but I'm glad that it's finally happened. Hopefully, next step will either be Roku or Google TV. Uh, I would love to see Xbox expand to those as well. But that, of course, is my opinion. As always, sound off in the comment section down below. Let me know how your experience went, what you thought of it. And for more Xbox Cloud Gaming or Xbox Game Pass news, updates, or videos, just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick right here to Nerf Gaming News.